I'm loving. The acid in the water dissolves the bones and it left a little bit. Oh, good morning everybody! Um, so, as you can see, we slept in a hotel. <laughs> it was actually quite nice. We had aircon, which was super nice. Um, it also included breakfast, so we actually had something to eat. <laughs> like, decently. Yesterday when we came back, um, yeah, we actually thought we need a proper meal because we haven't eaten the whole day. But both of us were not hungry, we were just uh, incredibly thirsty. So now we have a proper meal. Um, it's already late, it's, it's 10 o'clock, so we enjoyed our little sleep in. Um, and we're not gonna go far today. Not at all. We decided that we are going to make an easy day out of it. We just open the gate. Is it the red or the blue button? I don't know, just press the button. See what happens. There. Okay. I'll stop here. So, um, yeah, we're not gonna go far. Yesterday, we actually wanted to go to, um, to the campground, but it was already so late. I think we got here. I still needed to sort out the the SIM card and stuff. So and we needed Wi-Fi for a couple of things. So it was already six o'clock. So we decided just to go here. Um, but there's a campsite about 40 kilometers from here. Um, so we're gonna go there today. Hopefully, we will see. But we first need to go past the shop to actually buy credit for our. SIM card uh, There's shade over there Yeah, I'll go to the shade Alright, we're gonna get some water Credit And cash Yeah I don't think we need any more food. I think we've got enough food. No, I agree. Yeah. Hello, mother. How are you? Hello, how are you? Bike, no, thanks. I will keep it myself. Up, 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 yep, 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 yep. All right. So it is an hour later. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, try to check the people, and then it all took a little bit longer. <laughs> but anyway, so first, okay, on hope you have uh, a couple of things. Um, you have a credit tree for us, and uh, there is uh, one of the giant playgrounds, which is a lot of like very impressive rocks and stuff. And then you have a fossil a little bit further on. Now, <laughs> the plant and giant playground, we looked at it, and the price seems for us to a little bit ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so, we're not going to go there, but we can drive past it anyway on that road. So we're just going to drive past this, have a look, and then carry on to the fossils and see if there's anything to see there. Um, we don't really know that much about it. Um, our plan was to camp there, but we've got a nice offer from a guy now here. Um, stay at his place here in Cape Bondo, and we might do that. 
we actually haven't decided yet. So we're going first to the fossils and we will see. Maybe we camp there and then the next day we maybe stay at this guy's house or we do that tonight. We will see. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's see. Very nice friendly people that we met and um, yeah, he's also a biker. <laughs> I think a lot of people in Namibia actually knows him. Alright uh, though. Man on his horse. Why am I now in here? No, I've had that a couple of times. Yeah, at the beginning of the road, I'm like, what am I doing? Okay, now I am in sand. Okay, here's a quiver tree forest and a giant playground. So, but we are just going to go past. I just want to point it out, here's like all the quiver trees. Yeah. You see the rock formations for the from the giant playground already from here. So it's all basically rock formations. So it's direct uh, rock uh, stacked on top of each other, uh, and some of them are as tall as houses, as far as I know, and then it just balance on top of each other. So it's like quite an impressive sight, apparently. Um, yeah, we're driving up after. It's a it's a private property, so it's just a, the owner made it a, like a tourist attraction. Also, a uh, national heritage site. Okay, it's nice. There's some soft patches here and there, eh? Yeah. The man is working on the road. The reason why the road is smooth. Yeah. Just watch out, it's gonna be lots of sand now that we're pushing, eh? Yeah, I realize. <laughs> He's very happy. Yeah. Don't go there. Oh, there's a little heap of sand. <laughs> it's gonna be like hello. Can I do it? I'm gonna ride it like a boss. Okay, don't fall. I did not fall. <laughs> well done, you're getting better. <laughs> Hello, um. Um, South Africa, um. Yeah, the half of the Oh, you're going to go far from the house. Yeah, yeah. My vrouw comes actually from Holland. Oh, it's here, Casco. Yeah, I guess. That's right, that's right. All right, we'll see you later. Okay, Jelle. Bye-bye, thank you. Thank you. We can drive around there, eh? Yes. Very sweet, sweet man. Now, I hope it's not going to be too sandy. But <laughs> <laughs> no, this is okay. This is fine. Let's take it easy. Oh, I first get my fat bike in the in the rut. So um, yeah, they have chalets, but we are gonna go to bush camp. Um, they don't have electricity, but that's fine. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna camp that tonight. 
And then uh, later on, he's just going to show us the fossils and the rest of the farm. When it cooled down a little bit, it's like half past, half past four or something. I think it's going to be nice. Oof. Just watch out for the middle. Yeah, I know. Okay, sorry, I'm not gonna go into the middle now. <laughs> I'll wait for you. I'll close the gate. It's okay. <laughs> not an issue. I've had a couple of really close calls today already. Yeah, I just didn't want to go back today over there now again. Kissy was yeah. like, I didn't enjoy the road and I don't want to ride it again. Not no, today. It seems nice. <laughs> uh, you just like the old man. You're I like, do like. I do like the old man. You are He's like, sweet. I am going to stay here just because <laughs> I like him. Basically, but that's too bad. I saw that. I know you <laughs> so well. I saw that. Oh, there goes Kissy's heart. She is like, oh, look at the sweet old man. I am going to stay here with his little steps. <laughs> oh, well. No. Okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, let's see. Four kilometers of this. Uh, uh. <laughs> <Really kidding. laughs> I'm laughing. No. <laughs> it is fine as long as we stay sort of in the middle. Not in the middle. Stay. Oh, yeah, not in the middle of the of the of the track. Ah, look like what I'm doing, huh? <laughs> ah, this is funny. Hey, we are here in the pivot tree forest with the old dinosaur bones. And that's why the sand is so soft, there's all the bones, all the fish and st st stuff that has been brockled away. We are riding on dinosaur poop. Yeah! We are here. Yay! Okay, now we just need to find this tree. A big shady tree. I think this is our tree. Right just here. Just underneath the weaver. Big weaver nest. Yeah. These are all individual nests, as you can see. And individual apartments. Individual apartments. And an apartment block. So there are social weavers, so they live together. Camp is set up there, and the 890 has a beautiful spot underneath this weaver's nest. And we have a very, very, very chilled afternoon. We do. It is nice. So what we have for dinner is 
we have a can of baked beans we have two boiled eggs two tomatoes and a nice um, seeded bread so we are having breakfast for dinner dinner the reality of living on the road tomato bread baked beans <laughs> hey and we've got boiled eggs yes mm. There you go. One for you. Thank you. And one for me. Alright guys, so um, I just quickly went to the bathroom to brush my teeth and stuff and um, I just saw there's a lot of butterflies around here and I had a quick look and I just realized that they're actually um, hatching or crawling out of their cocoon over here right now so I just want to show you That little guy is still pumping up his wings, so he can't fly yet. Look at that. We actually need to go and get to the office. And then we need to, well, we're actually going to do the, he's going to show us the fossils. So, yeah, he was going to show the fossils at uh, half past nine. So that's now. Well, almost, so I actually don't have time to look around. But there's so many butterflies hatching, <laughs> it's actually so cool. Alright, anyway, I will get my stuff sorted. <laughs> okay, that was food time. 
it's okay. It's okay. You think it's okay? Yeah. One, two, three. Um, do you want me to get out of here? Let me just. Why is your 360 rolling? <laughs> I also got you just like kapoof. You can see the rips. Of the no, it is, yeah. But I show you very nice ones there. So they are all around here. Okay then. Oh, but this guy is dirty. You showed me these marks there and these marks here. And then I hit it on the crack and it fell open on this one. And there you can see the front leg. With the humerus, the radius and the ulna, with the five fingers you can see the finger joints and the wrist bones. And this is the mirror image of that front leg and that is the mirror image of that front leg. Mm. And if you look at this front leg, that is absolutely the same part as modern animals, including human beings. They sank into the soft mud at the seabed and more mud filled away. it. And over many years, the acid in the water dissolved the bones and it left only the prints. Mm. And that is the reason why we have so many fossils. You see the fossil is a weak spot in the sediment. It breaks open on a fossil for its hollow. So there you have a very nice piece. Uh, we discovered these pieces all close by, but this, piece, uh, this creature died on this exact spot more than 250 million years ago. It's unbelievable. Yeah, that is. And that's the first word I learned in German was Wahnsinn. Wahnsinnigheid, allergheid, yeah. yeah. madness. Yes. And you see this small holes there, that can also be fossils. But I'm not going to open it. If I open it, I shall damage this underneath and yeah. that. Yeah. So I leave that to the experts. So it's because of these that you think that there is something? Definitely, that must be fossils. But it, it must be uh, 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 qualified people mm. can open it. Uh, for I. Uh, I'm in a hurry, I want to damage it, I shall damage it. <laughs> yeah. And they sit here with brushes and for days. Here for days. It's very small, but it's so clear. It's yes, very it's clear. Very I'm actually surprised on how clear it is. But here must be thousands of them underneath it. Yeah. You see this all over this grey sediments. You can find it. But what is so interesting, uh, it's absolutely the same boat as the modern animals. So that tells us that the creation is millions of millions of years old. Mm. Over a slow period it happened. 
we human beings, we are only a very small part of it. And the Dolorite rock together, and on this farm we have more than 5,000 quarry trees. But I want to tell you here about these black rocks. You see, the geologists reckon that around about 180 million years ago, the magma came up into soft soil over a huge area in Kipman's Wood District. But it didn't come up in pipes like volcanoes, it came up from underneath the ground like boiling pots. So blue, blue, blue. Yeah, okay. And before it reached the surface of the earth, the pressure stopped underneath and the magma cooled off underneath the surface of the earth. So it was subvolcanic, but in that case we call it tolerant. Now later on the soft soil eroded away and it left only the rock towers on top of each other. And there were different kinds of erosion, but one very simple kind of erosion was from heat and cold. They made cracks vertically and horizontally over thousands of years and it formed these blocks. And now the Europeans ask me if we built it like that. It looks like but, it. But yeah, now I tell them, no, we do not work so hard in Africa. <laughs> So you see, these dolerite rocks, they are very hard and the cracks have no sand in between, so the tension in the rock makes the resonance. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. I reckon you know it. I know it. Brother Jacob, Father yeah, Jacob. Father Jacob. The Bushman people, the sun people, they took a dry branch like this. They hollowed these softer parts out. Then they put a kind of skin underneath there. And then they put their arrows inside. Okay. So that was the quiver. From there the name quiver tree. But it's very light. But you see, this is not a tree. It's an aloe. One see it on the leaves. Yeah. Yes. And the botanical name is the Aloe Dichotoma. Dicho, two toma stems. They always divide into two equal stems. Right, I think that was quite nice. So um, we are going to go back to the bikes and then make our way back to Cape Mount Hope. And then we have actually a interesting guy that I told you about that um, knows a lot about Namibia and Namibian roads and he rides motorcycles himself as well. So we're going to visit him and probably get some inside information, hopefully. But uh, it was nice to see. Ah, that was nice. It's very interesting to see the, um, the fossils. 